Wide receiver 30 in our consensus ranks, Deontay Johnson. Uh, we're actually all across the, our team pretty much in line here. Uh, you know, we only go from wide receiver 29 to wide receiver 33 in ranking Deontay Johnson. I think we all recognize the volume that he demands and has demanded year over year. But he's in an offense with Kenny Pickett, who threw seven touchdowns as a, as a rookie QB. How and where is this going to go? Deontay Johnson scored no touchdowns last year. Everyone's, you know, everyone has had a tweet about this at the, this point. You know, everyone takes a turn tweeting about, you know, his zero touchdowns. It's most uh, blah, 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 blah. So we're sure to have some positive regression there. But still, what's the real ceiling for Deontay Johnson in that offense? What do you think, Tim? Well, I, I, just addressing this towards redraft, I like to play in a little bit deeper leagues when it comes to redraft where it's like three wide receivers and a flex. If it's possible to make Deontay Johnson your flex, I think you'll be very happy because at wide receiver 30, there's going to be a lot of running backs coming off the board. It's going to be limited based on the number of quarterbacks, so it might be tough to make them your, your flex. But with that being said, the reason why I say that is because I think you're always going to have consistent floor with the volume. But he is a really intelligent receiver. He knows how to how to really work safeties while still getting off of his cornerback. So there are ways where he can get behind guys that he's in front of before they even know it, and he's scoring a touchdown. And it's a lot more dependent on if he gets on the same page with Pickett, and Pickett is capable of delivering those throws for his ceiling. But to me, his floor is really good. So then if he even hits his ceiling you know, a quarter or a third of weeks, you're getting a league-winning guy that's playing in your flex. And that's the reason why I think he's both safe as well as upside at 30. Oh, he's my 32. So at 30 in our, in our consensus ranks, I think it's a perfect place to put him. Jake, if you put Deontay Johnson on 28 other teams in the NFL, I have him as a top 18 wide receiver, just off of the pure ability to earn volume. It doesn't matter who the quarterback has been. He gets targets. That's what I love. The problem is his quarterback is throwing with a wet noodle most of the time and is just objectively not been good so far um, I don't expect a huge jump out of Kenny Pickett this year while yes we typically do see a jump from year one to year two for a lot of players typically those players aren't 25 years old in that second year so that's again just a concern with him it's all situation it get, much like Ayuk, it has absolutely nothing to do with talent i think deontay's a top 10 route runner in football much like Ayuk, i just don't trust the quarterback situation to really matter and it's i don't think george pickens is going to have a big jump i don't think pat's going to like command a ton of targets i don't think Najee's going to go crazy this year it's just the fact that Kenny Pickett is not a good quarterback. That's really all my Deontay Johnson rank boils down to because he's uber talented. He's an extremely talented wide receiver. It just sucks that he's in the spot that he's in because if I put him with any other quarterback, I'm probably pretty confident in, in his his weekly upside of being a top 18 guy. 